The Zoloitsky Intel, or Zolo, also known as the Mexican hairless dog, is one of several breeds of hairless dog. It is found in standard, miniature, and toy sizes. The Zolo also comes in a coated variety, and coated and hairless can be born in the same litter. It is characterized by its lack of hair, wrinkles, and dental abnormalities. In Nahuatl, from which its name originates, its name is Mlitzkuintli and Zmlitzkuintin. The name comes from the god Zolitlenditsku plus Ntli, meaning dog in Nahuatl. Zolitzkuintl is one of the most mysterious breeds. Its millennial existence is shrouded in legends. The ancients considered these unusual animals as guides to the other world and treated them with due respect. According to another legend, the Zoloitskuintels were considered to be four-legged healers who could take the disease with them overnight. History also mentions cruel moments. Dogs were regularly sacrificed to the Aztec gods, and sometimes they even consumed their meat for food. Today the Zoloitskuintels are successfully fulfilling the role of loyal companions and friends. And hugging these warm and affectionate creatures is a pleasure. Highlights there are three types of Zoloitskuintel, standard, medium and mini, so the breed is suitable for keeping in an apartment of any size. In one litter, both completely naked and dressed in short hard fur babies can be born. Zoloitskuintels tend to consider only one person as the owner, although they also treat the rest of the family with love, including other pets. Mexican hairless dogs are great guards who sense an intruder long before they arrive. It is not recommended to have a Zolo for families with small children, dogs can behave unpredictably in the company of a child. Animals need daily active walks, however, in severe frosts, it is better to refrain from long crossings in the city park. When raising and training a Mexican hairless dog, it is necessary to be guided only by positive methods and a creative approach to the process. Zoloitskuintels will not be able to get along with those who perceive dogs as foolish creatures. These animals suffer if they are mistreated. History of the Zoloitskuintel breed Mexican hairless dogs are unique in every way. They are among the lucky ones who have formed a separate breed due to a common genetic mutation, the lack of hair. In the case of the Zoloitskuintel, this deviation stuck for generations and became a hallmark. The animals proved to be more adapted to the climate of Mexico than their brethren. In addition, ticks, fleas and other parasites were not interested in dogs without hair and rarely bothered them with painful bites. The extravagant appearance of the animals attracted the attention of the Aztecs. They also came up with the name Zoloitskuintel. It came from the name of the god of the underworld, Xalitl, Zolotl, who controlled thunderstorms and accompanied the daylight. The deity was depicted as a humanoid monster with a dog's head. Zoloitskuintels looked rather frightening in comparison with other animals, so they were mistaken for faithful companions of God and those who died on their way to Mictlan, the afterlife. According to Aztec mythology, the human soul met with a number of obstacles that could not be overcome without a four-legged helper. The central role of the breed is evidenced by archaeological finds, clay figurines and mummies of dogs. The oldest ones date back to the 5th millennium BC. E. On some figurines, an imitation of a fur coat is visible, they probably embody representatives of other breeds. The Aztecs not only believed in the divine power of the Zoloitskuintel, but also strictly followed the instructions of the priests. When a warrior died, the inhabitants of the settlement performed a bloody ritual, which involved the ceremonial killing of the deceased's dog. The arrow of its owner was put into the mouth of the animal. After that, the bodies were buried and sometimes mummified beforehand. Archaeological excavations in Mexico and the modern United States have revealed more than a dozen of these mass graves. Some finds suggest that the Zoloitskuintel was kept for further consumption. Dog meat was considered an exquisite dish, which was prepared only for important religious holidays. The Aztecs believed that this meal not only honors the gods, but also endows ordinary people with the gift of a seer. Representatives of the sterner sex ate the meat of naked dogs, as they considered it the main aphrodisiac that strengthens masculine strength. Zoloitskuintel was also endowed with magical abilities to heal ailments. This was largely due to the hot skin of the animals, which reduced the discomfort due to the warming effect. The myth still lives in remote aboriginal villages, where Zolo still treat rheumatism and other diseases. The appearance of the conquistadors was a watershed moment in the history of the breed. The conquerors considered the new world their property and sought to impose cruel orders on the local residents. The first to fall out of favor was the culture of the descendants of the Aztecs. The conquistadors demanded that the aborigines renounce ancient rituals that contradict civilized European religion. Zoloitskuintel were ranked among the bright symbols of the outdated way of life and thereby signed their death warrant. Dogs were exterminated en masse, sometimes for food. By the end of the 16th century, the breed could hardly be called numerous. The animals managed to survive only in some remote mountain villages of Mexico. 
Zelotsky until re-entered the world stage at the beginning of the 19th century, unfortunately, again as a raw material. Their skins were used to make leather goods. The unenviable position of hairless dogs changed only by 1850. Adherents of art, having noticed the unusual appearance of animals, did everything possible to stop their merciless exploitation. Dog breeders enthusiasts organized massive expeditions to remote mountain villages, which had a fairly large population of Zolotsky In 1887, the Zolo was officially recognized by the American Kennel Club, AKC. The first registered animal was a bitch named Me Too. After this event, the breed was forgotten for a long time. Even the victory of the Zolotsky at the 1940 exhibition did not save the situation. As Mexican hairless dogs have lost their former popularity, the AKC has removed them from the breed register. The number of Zolotsky decreased, and their owners attended dog shows less and less. The fate of the animals was again in jeopardy, but there were fans of this extravagant breed who sought to continue the breeding work. History knows only one name, Norman Pelham Wright. In 1954, he went in search of Zolotsky in remote Mexican settlements, mainly in the south of Guerrero and in the Rio Balsas region. Norman Wright managed to acquire more than a dozen dogs from the Indians. While engaged in animal breeding, the naturalist published the works The Riddle of the Zolo, where he described in detail the wards and formulated a preliminary breed standard. Wright's work bore worthy results. In 1956, the Mexicans were officially recognized in their historical homeland. In 1986, Zolotsky clubs appeared in European countries, the USA and Mexico. Together with the addition of the breed standard, its participants urge dog breeders not to forget about the difficult fate of the Indian natives and no longer use them for selfish purposes. Educational activities have been successful. Zolo became a national treasure of Mexico, and their number in the world exceeded 30,000 individuals, a record figure for a breed that was twice on the brink of extinction. In 2011, the AKC re-registered the Zolotsky these animals are also notable for their accurate hit in the Guinness Book of Records, where they are recorded by the oldest of the same type and the owners of the highest body temperature. Zolotsky Intel's Appearance Zolos are of three types. Standard. Height at withers 46 to 60 cm, body weight from 9 to 14 kg. Middle. Height at the withers 36 to 45 cm, body weight 6 to 10 kg. Miniature. Height at the withers 25 to 35 cm, body weight 4 to 8 kilograms. Dog breeders believe that the ancestors of modern Zolotsky Intels belonged to the first type. Animals with such proportions could easily survive in the wild, unlike their smaller counterparts. In addition, individual medium and miniature hairless dogs tend to increase their size, which cannot be said about the standard variety of the Zolotsky Intel. The breed is distinguished by a pronounced sexual type. Females look more graceful and lighter in comparison with males. Zolotsky Intel. Breed Description. The size of the Zolotsky Intel breed varies from 4 to 25 kilograms. Outwardly, it looks like a pharaoh's hound, with a smooth body, large bat-like ears and a long neck, it is distinguished by the absence of hair. The dominant hairless trait originated in this breed as a mutation. With a recessive manifestation of the trait, a woolly variety is formed, which is genetically inseparable from a hairless one, since homozygous detections of a hairless mutation are detrimental to an unborn puppy. Fun fact, most litters include both hairless and furry puppies. Zolotsky Intel is moderate in all aspects of his appearance, giving the impression of agility, elegance and strength. The proportions of the body are rectangular in shape. The total body length is slightly greater than the height. In nature, the breed is found in two variations, hairless and covered with wool. Hairless individuals are the dominant indicator of the hairless HH heterozygous trait. Coated Zolotsky Intels are a recessive expression, and breeding hairless to covered or hairless to hairless can result in puppies of one or both varieties. Coated to coated breeding will only produce coated puppies because they are recessive to the hairless trait and do not carry the dominant H. The Zolotsky Intel is not an easy dog to keep. Not everyone is impressed by a dog with such an unusual appearance. But if the idea of having a living bottle of hot water close by, with a reputation for healing touch and exorcism, Zolotsky Intel can be your favorite companion. Popular colors of the Zolotsky Intel. The Zolotsky Intel breed is found in a range of sizes that breeders have standardized into three designations, toy, miniature and standard, and two varieties, hairless and coated. Hairless has tough, smooth, tight-fitting skin. The coated variety is covered with a short, flat layer. Both varieties come in dark colors, ranging from black, gray, and shale to red, liver, or bronze. The face is thoughtful and intelligent, and his forehead wrinkles as he thinks deeply. The graceful body of the Zolotsky Intel is amazing and strong. 
At first glance, Zoloit's quintal may not seem attractive to everyone. A wrinkled forehead, slanting eyes, satellite dish ears, a mohawk dividing the top of his head, a rat's elongated tail, not to mention a hairless body, make him a dog that is not quite versatile. Well, except for people who appreciate the differences that set these dogs apart from other dogs. Fun fact, the short, flat, dense coat is the original form of the dog before the spontaneous hairless mutation occurs. The hairless variety is completely hairless on the body, and many dogs have several short hairs on the crown of the head, toes and the tip of the tail. Almond eyes range in color from yellow to black. Large ears, erect, have an elegant fine texture. Puppies may have a wrinkled body, but when they grow into the skin, the body is smoothed. The legs are webbed, the tail is thin and long. Both varieties are found in all hair or skin colors and are often marked, splattered, or visible. The most common colors are various shades of black, blue and red. The nature and habits of the Zoloitskuintel. An adult Zoloitskuintel is a calm dog. She usually chooses one person as her favorite but does not skimp on affection for other family members. Walking or taking a vigorous daily activity in a fenced yard will satisfy her exercise needs. The rest of the time it will be pleasant for her to lie in the sun or snuggle up to the owner to keep warm. Zoloitskuintel are excellent watchdogs and will warn you about anything that might interest you. However, they don't bark all the time, so if they stop barking, it's helpful to see what's bothering them. Zoloitskuintel are wary of strangers and not the kind of dog to befriend. They are also territorial in relation to the animals that end up on their property. Zoloitskuintels that have not been socialized enough may behave aggressively towards people or dogs they don't know. When training a dog, use gentle positive techniques and this intelligent and sensitive dog will quickly learn useful things. Once he learns, a stern gaze is usually sufficient to correct any wrong behavior. However, this breed can be easily manipulated by an inexperienced dog owner, so the Zoloitskuintel may not be the best choice for a beginner. Fun fact, Zoloitskuintels are very athletic. A 6-meter fence means nothing to an adult, and even puppies can climb 2-meter fences. Puppies are very active and can destroy everything in their path if they are not busy playing or training. As they grow older, they begin to become the docile dogs that are typical of the breed. Temperament is formed from a number of factors, heredity, workout, socialization. Puppies with good temperaments are curious and playful, ready to approach people and quickly form a bond with their owner. Interesting facts about the Zoloitskuintel. Like all dogs, the Zoloitskuintel needs early socialization, getting to know different people, looks, sounds. Socialization helps to provide a social experience. Bringing friends to the house on a regular basis, staying in parks, dog-friendly shops, and visiting neighbors can help dogs improve their social skills. Here are some interesting facts. The Zoloitskuintel comes in three different sizes, so the breed adapts to any type of home. A dog native to Mexico and Central America, the Zoloitskuintel is also called the Mexican hairless dog. The breed is believed to date from the pre-Columbian civilization. Although they are known as the hairless breed, the Zoloitskuintel also comes in hair. The body is longer than its height. The Zoloitskuintel's lack of a warming coat makes the dog feel warm to the touch, even if their body temperature is not higher than that of other dogs. Zolo is completely non-hypoallergenic, and while hairless bodies are less likely to cause allergies, their saliva, urine and odor can cause allergenic symptoms in susceptible individuals. Around the same time, when the Zoloitskuintels appeared in human civilization, they began to appear in art. Sculptures and paintings of early South American cultures include depictions of dogs that are very similar to the modern breed. Because dogs were renowned for their healing properties and connection to the spirit world, they are featured in many sacred art such as funerary icons and images of the gods. Sholos are part of 20th century art history, appearing in the lives and works of famous artists Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo. Pros and cons of Zoloitskuintel. The Zoloitskuintel is an intelligent and sensitive dog and responds best to gentle, reward-based training. The harsh discipline only scares him. You cannot allow his barking to become constant, lest it become his constant habit, which is very difficult to break. If you want a dog that has an exotic, elegant appearance, hairless, does not need cleaning, moves with light grace, runs fast, jumps and climbs with agility even on vertical surfaces, frisky, smart and sensitive, excellent watchdog, usually behaves peacefully with other animals. In this case, Zoloitskuintel may be the right choice. If you don't want to deal with somewhat tense, emotional, dependent person who requires a lot of attention and will bark or act sometimes destructively without communication, shyness and suspicion with insufficient socialization, emotional sensitivity to stress, loud voices, rough treatment and sudden changes in schedule, 
tends to try to climb obstacles or undermine to break free of captivity. Vigilant care for hairless skin sensitive to sun, cold, rain and sleet, chemicals and hard surfaces. In this case, the Zoloitsk Quintal may not be the right fit for you. Temperament inheritance is less predictable than physical inheritance. The Zoloitsk Quintal dog is a primitive breed, which means that it hasn't strayed too far from its wild roots. Primitive breeds tend to be difficult to chair. A doggy door may be required. The breed's territorial markings are very strong, so inexperienced males raise their legs to pee in the house is a common problem. Interesting fact, hairless Zoloitsk Quintals usually have an incomplete set of teeth, while coated dogs have a full dentition. Zoloitsk Quintal Care Delicate skin should be protected from sunburn and cold temperatures and washed and moisturized. Hairless dogs need soft bedding to curl up. The following products are essential for use in Zoloitsk Quintal skin care products, Vaseline, Intensive Regenerating and Moisturizing Agent, Pure Oil, Grapes, Olive Oil, Vegetable Oil, Therapeutic Oil for the Skin coconut oil, milk for baby bass, pure aloe vera gel. Just check the ingredients, the fewer chemicals the better for the dog, baby products for sensitive skin are ideal. The use of clothing for dogs relieves, not only of the cold, but also of dirt on the skin. Zolo requires a moderate amount of daily exercise, a 20 or 30 minute walk, or active play in a fenced in yard. The hairless light Quintal is sensitive to the sun, so don't leave him outdoors for long periods and apply dog sunscreen to his body before walking him out or train it early in the morning or in the evening. Zoloitsky Intel must live in the house. Make sure he has soft bedding to soften his streamlined body and think of him as your own warm bed in the winter. He is sensitive to extreme temperatures and may need to wear a sweater in cold weather or have access to an air conditioner in hot weather. Bathe Zoloitsky Intel weekly to keep his skin clean and healthy without acne. Especially when you take it where there is dirt, sand and debris. After washing, lubricate the dog's skin with coconut oil and wipe off the excess after about 5 minutes, most of the product will be absorbed into the skin, leaving it silky and smooth. Zoloitsk Quintal should be fed high-quality food. The breed is partial to fruits and vegetables, so feel free to add them to your dog's food. If you are feeding your dog meat, it should be low in fat. Commercial food for these dogs is also acceptable, although this breed often has fewer teeth than their canine counterparts, impairing the dog's chewing ability. Fun fact, the great thing about Zoloitz Quintals is that they can live in almost any home, big or small. As long as dogs get enough exercise, they are happy and adaptable. There is a problem in a number of animals with the ingestion of very bulky and whole pieces of meat or bones. Most individuals suffer from the absence of a complete set of teeth, but dogs completely without teeth are discarded. If your teeth start to fall out, you need to switch to a more gentle premium canned food. Diseases and Health Problems the Zoloitsk Quintal is a very hardy and healthy breed with no known breed-related health problems. Leading breeders only breed specimens with excellent health, good skin, temperament, and conformation. A breeder who cares only about money and not about the health and well-being of the breed may not care about these health qualities, breeding only what he has at hand and not what he should. Hairless dogs tend to develop skin problems, especially acne and clogged hair follicles, if the skin becomes too dirty or damp. Chronic allergies cause itching, and scratching the animal can lead to bacterial infections. Genes that influence the appearance of bare-chested dogs also tend to affect or cause teeth to be missing. Dental illnesses can be serious in the breed. Eye diseases are a problem and we know that hip dysplasia and dislocated patella, free knees, are not uncommon in Zoloitskuintel. Dogs are advised to wear sweaters in very cold climates. Fun fact, excessive bathing can strip your skin of its natural defenses, causing more harm than good. Also, excessive lotion and sun protection can clog pores and damage the skin, causing acne and the like. So you need to apply hygiene products only as needed. Let the natural defenses do the trick. The dark and solid color varieties of the Zoloitsky Intel have the hardest skin. Spotted and light colors require more attention. Zoloitsky Intli. Price and how to buy correctly. The current average price is 160 to 200 US dollars. This is the price you can count on if you buy a copy with papers but without the rights to reproduce or high-quality displays. You can pay even less for a puppy without documents. However, it is not recommended to buy a puppy without documents. For a well-bred, healthy dog from a responsible breeder, you can pay roughly 300 to 500 US dollars for a Zoloitsky Intel Show dog. It all depends on the place of purchase. It is very easy to find breeders on the internet, but you need to weed out the bad breeders from the responsible ones. Find a breeder who keeps his dogs at home and in the family, not outdoors in the stables. Dogs should look happy and healthy, meet new people easily, and not shy away from visitors. 
the breeder should show where the dogs spend most of their time, and the area should be clean and well maintained. Reputable dog breeders should encourage prospective dog owners to spend some time with a puppy in a familiar environment. They can only breed one or two types of dogs and must know the breed standards. Breeders should work closely with local veterinarians and show veterinary visit records for puppies. When asked about the health of the puppies, they should know the answer and explain the medical history of the puppies and what vaccinations your new pet will need. They are usually knowledgeable when it comes to potential genetic problems that could affect the breed and explain to you what those problems are. The breeder should explain how to care for and nurture the puppy and should strive to help even after you have taken your puppy home. In addition to the above criteria, a reputable breeder should also ask you. Why do you need a dog who will be responsible for the daily care of the puppy, who will attend training sessions with him, where the dog will spend most of its time? Reputable breeders will also have you sign a contract that says you can return as a Leutzkuintel dog if you cannot keep it.